Ooh, I need to really get a haircut. It is really long. <laughs> Doesn't focus properly. Anyway, enough about my hair and about the focusing of this camera. I'm just excited to be making videos here for YouTube. I, 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 I love making YouTube videos, but for you, some of you guys that have watched my other videos, you may know that I moved to Sweden last year. Um, it's been almost a year since I've been in Sweden, almost one whole year since I've been in Sweden and since I started, since I came to Sweden, I, I learned Swedish, or learnt, I say learnt Swedish, I haven't learnt Swedish, I'm learning Swedish. What have I done? I've done a lot of things. Started my own film company, that's, that's a big thing, uh, I think, starting a new company, that's pretty damn big. Um, and yeah, I've done a lot of things and I've got a lot of projects. I've, I've met a lot of new people. I kind of now got to a point where I really want to focus back on YouTube again now that I, uh, I'm used to life in Sweden and I want to share my life in Sweden with all of you guys. So this year I have promised myself to make more videos more regularly to show you more of Sweden, really, as from my perspective, from my point of view, because it's really, I find it really interesting to see other people's point of view of places. And to be honest, if I made videos over the last year, I, I, I spend most of my time in my office working by my desk, which is not fun and it's not fun to film, but I have a lot of stuff being planned and I want to share everything with you. First of all, I'm going up to the north of Sweden. When am I going to the north of Sweden? Um, what day is it today? I, I say what day is it today, but and I look somewhere else, but there's no one here. There's just no one. It's just in March. In, in March next year. Next year? No, March this year. Next month. I'm going to the north of Sweden next month. I'm going to a place called Pitio. And uh, <laughs> a funny story about that. I had a new customer come come to me for my to my film production company. So we agreed on this big project thing, and <laughs> and then after we agreed everything, they 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 said, oh, we uh, we need you to go to Pitio to 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 do some of the filming in this filming project. I was like, yeah, yeah, I can go to Pitio. Surely, surely that's not that far away. And just to give you some perspective. I live in Hamstad, which is in the southwest of Sweden. Uh, yeah, southwest of Sweden, on the coast. Um, you know, I thought this place might be like two hours away by car or something like this. And then after I agreed to do it, I kind of uh, spoke to someone about this and they, they turned around and said, do you know where Pitio is? No idea, no idea. Show me on a map. Um, London is probably closer. Than than Pitio uh, is um, <laughs> is it, it, I'm gonna have to take two planes to get there. Um, it still is in Sweden, but Sweden's a very big country, so I'm gonna have to take two planes to get there and drive an hour uh, as well. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a long trip to Pitio and back to Hamstad again, but it's gonna be fun. I've never been to the north of Sweden. I've heard so many great things about the north of Sweden, so many strange things about the north of Sweden, and not many people actually live in the north of Sweden. I've I've seen the north of Sweden quite a lot. There's not that many people there, and I think I've been I've been told at the moment there's one and a half meters of snow. How 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 big is how tall is one and a half meters? It's it's quite long. It's quite a lot of snow. It's going to be an experience, and that's one experience I want to share with you. This morning I was in Varbe, which is closer than Pitio. I was in Varbe, which is an hour away, about 70, 80 kilometers uh, for a meeting with a with an agency that I'm partnering up with. And I got another meeting in one hour to get to. Things are happening, and I've got a lot to share with you. I keep saying I've got a lot to share with you, but I'm not actually sharing it with you right now. I want to share it with you over time. It will happen. I am going to. I find it really hard to to kind of just stay making videos because one of my biggest issues 
one of my biggest issues is uh, I don't like to film myself in public. As you might look at, see my other videos and they're all inside. It's scary, um, so I really appreciate that. The YouTubers that film themselves in public, I appreciate that because it's it's a hard thing. I I always I know I shouldn't care about what people think, and in this day and age in society, it's probably accepted to do it. Uh, but it's you know it's hard. It's hard, and that's okay. But I'm gonna try this year to film more outside in public of myself. You know, people probably don't want to see much of myself. But I have some really cool film projects being planned right now that will hopefully turn out to be really cool and really amazing. Um, cinematographically, cinematographically, that's not even a word. Uh, I mean, visually. Uh, we have some really cool ideas, uh, some of the projects we're going to be working on and I, I want to share them with you when they happen, um, as and when they happen really. So, um, so I'm going to be some really cool content coming out because I'm going to try, if it's okay with my customers, to share a lot of the projects that I make through my company on my channel to see how films get made and I want to be able to share behind the scenes of some films and, and, some, and some things we do and uh, we have some big projects, we have some smaller projects so I'm, I'm just trying to share the bigger projects so you can really understand how films are made. I have a meeting to get to very soon. <laughs> I'm ready to go for my meeting. Um, they called me up said they were like 10 minutes late so I should have been in there now. Yeah, let's just, let's just go. <laughs> It's 8 o'clock the next morning uh, since I started making this video uh, and it is freezing outside. I'm wearing my big winter coat today. My forgot my gloves and my hands inside the car is... Woo! I can't feel my fingers. I can't feel my fingers. I said I needed a haircut so I thought today that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get my haircut and then go to work. Nice and short. Uh, 9 o'clock, 9.15, and I need to get to work. And I have a very busy, I have a very busy day. Uh, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be at my desk all day. Um, so, you know, that, that's, quite, that's quite boring. So, uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. If you haven't done so, you know that little red subscribe button, just like down below this video? Just hit it, just hit it. I dare you, I dare you to hit that subscribe button if you're watching this video right until the end. You know when someone says I dare you, you just mm, you just really want to do it, you just really, you don't want to do it until someone says I dare you and then suddenly something just takes over your whole body and like, no, I'm gonna hit it because you dare me to. I dare you to hit that subscribe button and um, hit that bell button as well so you get notified when I next make a video because like I said yesterday, I'm gonna force myself to make more videos. When I say force myself, it's like a chore, like something I don't wanna do. I do wanna do it. I'm gonna not force myself, but make it more of a priority in my daily routine to make more videos, more content for my channel, for you guys to watch, to follow me in Sweden, see what I'm up to. I love telling my story with you guys and sharing everything. So hit that subscribe button, I dare you to, and I'll see you guys next time.